Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Campbellville, Victoria. Today we don't have a brand new van for sale, but it is a customer's van that's just rolled on. It's a Chameleon Liberty SV. It's a kind of special one. We've done a heap of upgrades to it. These guys bought earlier on in the year before all the whole COVID thing. We're going to take you through it. We know there's a heap of people just itching at the bit for probably the most popular van we have, which is the Chameleon Liberty SV. Available to order now. Obviously, with these some of these options, if you're interested to be able to change them up, ask your dealer locally to see what they can do for you. But I'm going to show you this brand new van from the Cooks. So the Cook family, if you're watching, we hope you absolutely love this van. We won't get to meet you in person. Obviously, COVID, click and collect, can't say, we just wave. But I'm going to be able to walk you through it and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So this is a Chameleon Liberty SV. The Chameleon Liberty SV has been optioned up instead of a one nine kilo gas bottle they've gone for two 4.5 kilo gas bottles this allows for obviously easy change of gas bottles we've got a uh, diesel tank fitted via our dealership just here so upon delivery we've actually fitted a lockable diesel uh, canister to the front it's a two kilowatt uh, belief system from diesel heat mounted underneath the bed it heats the van in almost about two minutes it's unbelievable we've got front rotation drocky wheel we've got spare wheel here on the front with the signature intel engineering chassis we have a chassis by intel engineering so this is a three millimeter 450 mpa grade of steel these guys have opted for the inside and outside van tip protection to be able to give their van a long lasting look and inside protection as well against everything as far as mattress de uh, deterioration or anything like that. We have a standard rotative uh, V3 coupling from uh, uh, Cruise Master suspension. We've got a breakaway cable here on the front. We've got a seven pin flat as well as a charging plug for the Gray Anderson plug. We've got our hook chain just here on the front from Intel Engineering. The chassis itself, although it is a lighter van, tearing it just over that 1300 mark, I believe, for this van, but we'll just check it as we go through. This guy here runs at a three millimeter, 450 MPA grade of steel, Australian made chassis by Intel Engineering. Uh, they are partnered with Crusader Caravans and they work with the same quality control groups that we have at Crusader as they do as well at Intel Engineering. Partnered with the same people, it means that the quality control checks on the foundation, you're gonna get the absolute top end system from Crusader. So we make our way through, we've got a storage box here on the front. We've got a bit of storage here at the front. We've bolted that through with Allen key locks. We've got jerry can holders there as well to be able to house your 20 liter jerry cans. We have, these guys have opted for something really special. Front paint protection. There's a bully line of paint. It stops about halfway up. We've got the Crusader logo across there with our LED side marker lights there at the front. The bully line of protection is incredibly strong paint. Cops an absolute beating, so easy to touch up. These guys paid a little bit more for it, but it gives them that little bit more assurance as well as the Vantec, it complements the build quality of it. Now, tear weight. This is tearing at 1438. There's a fair bit of fruit on this that is not a standard. So keep that in mind when you're talking to your dealers. They typically run at about the 1350 mark, I believe, just over that 1300. Storage wise, we've got a heap of storage in the back compartment here, right underneath these single beds. We've got a pull out Swift appliance, cooktop, grill. We have our little uh, sink just here, our hot water, cold water, gas water points there as well. So easy to go back and forth at just hook up quick connection points. And we've got undercover awning as well, right above that area. This guy here just pops up, locks into place like so, and a heap of storage. So I know I told you about tear weight, so it tears, well, let's say 1400 for easy purpose of explanation. This here, the suspension is a Tough Ride 2.7 ton independent suspension. So that means 2.7 minus 1.4, that is a heap of payload. We're going into the thousands at that point. It is incredible the amount of options and amount of weight this thing can hold. But really for a two ton vehicle, this thing here will absolutely be spot on. It's gonna to tow like an absolute gem. Not a timber, not a piece of timber in the construction material of the wall, the roof, the floor, the front, the back, any of it. This guy here is a fully engineered composite panel, 32 millimeter roof, 32 millimeter floor, 32 millimeter walls left and right, 32 millimeter back. This thing is fully, fully, fully insulated. You can almost breathe hot air and it'll keep the hot air in it. It is ridiculous, but still, they've still gone for the diesel heater. So we can't wait to be able to show them how hot it's gonna get. We've got an outside storage point right underneath here, underneath the single bed, covered by the wheel box just in there. So a heap of storage just tucked away with external speakers, of course, like so. They're Bluetooth compatible speakers for outside entertainment. We have a 12 volt cigarette lighter for whatever it may be, whether it be cigarettes or whether it be something else. We have a uh, awning that we're covering this whole area with. So this is a Dometic pull out wind out awning. These little legs here just pop up like so. It drops back into place and holds steady. Really easy to use. These guys have opted for a uh, annexy sort of veranda style pull out option that we had on display at the caravan show for the first uh, ex exhibition of the Chameleon Liberty SVs. Outside light, so that'll be a complimentary thing with it. We have a picnic table 
flip down with a heap of weight. Again, optional extra on that as well. There's a heap of fruit on these guys, so please make sure you read the brochure, look at the spec. We just want to show you some of the things that we can offer with the chameleons as optional extras. We have grab handle lift assist. I must admit, this is an install from our dealership team here. Crusader Caravans Manufacturing left it up to us as we know the customers better and we know where that placement of that handle is more likely to make be comfortable for that customer. So we've taken it upon ourselves to fit that as an aftermarket modification and I think we've done pretty well ourselves. And I've also powder coated it black because I thought it looked spot on. We've got crim safe door, of course. Why not? All standard within the Crusader range, whether it be low, medium, high, whatever it may be, that's a crim safe quad uh, tri lock security door. Step just goes like so. Now this guy is not leveled out, but it is quite a step. Um, so keep that in mind when you're buying one of these, that double step is a crucial element to be able to get on it. It does come as a standard, but just keep it in mind um, for those knees. Might be better to be able to take those little portable steps as well. But again, once leveled out, it's not too bad at all for the height. We've got three little badges here on the Chameleon Liberty SV, which is absolutely prudent to the caravan construction. Hiding behind the handle, we have an RVMAP badge. That means it's met all accredited services from the Caravan Industry Association of Australia. We are Caravan Manufacturer of the Year 2009 and 20. That means that we've met all criteria, gas, plumbing, electrical, building, quality, elements. Everything is done from chassis to caravan construction. This van has met and qualified under that certification. It gets a little badge to celebrate. It's met all quality assurances at Crusader Caravans. And then just because we like to brag, we like to tell you again and again and again, winner of Caravan Manufacturer of the Year 2009 and 20 from the Caravan Industry Government Association. That means that we are absolutely top leaders in our build quality and our class of caravan manufacturing. So when you compare and compare it with some like uh, comparable product to be able to make sure you're getting um, you're getting apples for apples. Come with me. We have drop down legs here at the side, so these guys just pull out, levels the whole van out. Very very easy to use. We have a uh, grey water out and a non-return valve just there as well. This one is not fitted with the grey water tank, but it does have that water out. So you plug up your hose there and it runs all the way out. We have flush uh, areas just here, so you can actually open individual tanks uh, like so, like that. Very very easy to use. We have whilst we're under here. We have a 2.7 tonne tough ride, fully independent suspension, Australian made, engineered, built, assembled, everything. These guys do the whole lot. It's fitted out with Elko hardware, so it's absolutely fantastic. These guys do an amazing job as far as the construction material. Same chassis manufacturer, same suspension manufacturer, all in hand, all one unit, no back and forth, you're dealing with one company. That is a huge advantage in the industry who deals with the majority of different suppliers. We have a little pull out toilet, Mr. Man, which is probably open inside as to why I can't open it because we're still doing pre-delivery checks. This guy, here's your water filler. This cassette pulls all the way out. You've got your flush tank valve just here. This is an inbuilt toilet. Wait till you jump inside and you see it. So this is a combination toilet. So again, Liberty SV, heap of options. So when you go into the dealerships, it's gonna look a little bit different, but this guy here is just what six months in the making does to a caravan with me and my planning team. We take advantage of all opportunities. We have power inlet. We have made 15 amp power in. We have circuit breakers like so. We have a nice green decal picked up by the cooks. I do like it actually, it does put a a bit of class into the van that is relatively bland or bright, it's up to you. Two water filler caps, these are a 65 litre tank, so you've got 130-ish litres within the van. So individual pick tanks, you can pick which tank you're gonna be using at any given time. You have a 28 litre uh, fast recovery hot water service. So a van this small, 28 litres is ample. So we've got 65, 65, 28. So a heap of storage and a heap of water capacity in this guy as well. Stainless steel, gas and 240 volt. So this is a 240 volt and gas unit. So no added to replace. Australian made, Australian built, Australian assembled. This is all Australian units. So we have two 120 amp AGM deep cycle batteries here on the chassis with a 50 amp ignition protector. To be able to protect it, it's a waterproof system of course with all that conduit pipe protection underneath here. And again, that A-frame's running all the way back to the wheel, so A-frame chassis. It is absolutely phenomenal, the construction of this van, even for a little caravan. PM300 system, right? So we have a breakaway system from Kamek that we give a little press button test. We have our jack to lift up a four ton van, so a little bit, little bit more than you'll need. We also have our side out kitchen there in the back and we have all of our drop down little leg uh, maneuvers just there. We'll lock this guy up. We have a uh, our Moby Cool Dometic window, so this guy just pops open, keeps a nice fresh air in, but that's a pull out block out and a midi screen there as well on the outside. That's a double glazed Dometic European window. Now I'm gonna show you something a little bit special. I'm gonna borrow the camera from our trusty assistant, Miss Phoebe, and we're gonna show you the construction of this van on the roof of the caravan as to what you're getting. So this is three solar panels on this construction, fitted up with an air conditioner, 
This Polycomp one-piece panel, 32mm insulated panel is one piece. That's a 32mm panel and it runs all the way down to right down to the bottom where it meets 32mm floor. You've got the three solar panels, the air conditioner, the hatches on the top. There's a heap of room, a heap of spec on this as well. And um, we love to highlight the fact that the construction material is a little bit different and something that you're going to be able to not see within an imported brand of something that is a one-piece unit like the Chameleon Liberty SV. People often ask us, what is it? And we tell them, we don't quite know. We don't know if it's a caravan. We don't know if it's a camper. All we know is this thing changes shape to whoever buys it. And so far, we're seeing people of all, all walks of life buying these. Um, and we see customers in their 70s buying them. We see customers in their 20s buying them. This thing is a shape shifter. It's called the Chameleon. It blends to your lifestyle. So we jump inside. The Chameleon's got a one center walkway as it goes through. So I'll take a seat in it just to highlight a few different bits and pieces. So these guys here have opted for a TV install. So this guy's a DVD player with a 12 volt socket import. So you've got uh, NCA TV like so. You've got the two Sirocco fans like so. You just pull this around as to where you want it to go. So this guy here goes around. We're going to bed. That's just gonna keep us nice and cool. I'm actually loving that right now. It's a little bit warmer in Melbourne. We've got our two pull together mattresses. So this is a single bed arrangement at the moment. All that needs to happen is this little TV goes over here. The board in the middle pulls to the center uh, like so. And then these two beds come together and then we've got a queen bed. So a little bit of mucking around. We've got 12 volt cigarette sockets at the back as well as a double power point. 12 volt cigarette socket here and a double power point there as well. You've got the two single beds, a heap of room. These are about a six foot four mattress in here, so it's a heap of room. You've got all your cupboard storage you could ask for just here. How many clothes do you possibly need in a 12 foot caravan? You've got NCE speakers like so. Um, that is a Bluetooth system, so you're going to be able to Spotify to that. You've got a compressor fridge. This guy here opens up. It's a, uh, it's about, I believe, uh, a 100 litre fridge. This guy here, you've got compressor. That's going to run completely off the solar panels and the batteries. You'll be able to honestly stop on the side of the road for many a day, maybe two weeks, and run completely independent. The director of Crusader Caravan, Serge Valentino, he actually used this caravan for four weeks, completely free of power, um, in Tasmania with his little chameleon, three solar panels, uh, two batteries and absolutely had no issues or hiccups at all. You've got a heap of storage in here. So you've got the cupboards, you've got all underneath the beds. This one here, we've installed that diesel heater. And so we've chewed up a little bit of the room. They still need a little bit of a clean in here before we dispatch it to Mr. and Mrs. Cook. Now we've got our speakers at the bottom there. We've got our fridge, our radio, our storage. Uh, above our heads just here, we've got our um, Ibis 3 air conditioning system. So the Ibis 3 is a 2 kVA. That's going to work with a uh, 2 kVA generator, but it is a true reverse cycle. So that guy there is a spot on aircon for everything you need. These guys here open up. These little black points just here are for the mounting brackets for the awning to be able to hide all the bolts. We've got heap of storage, one, two, and three overhead cupboard. We've got two cookers just like so with ignition, of course, to be able to fire him up. We've got a large set sink optioned up by Mr. and Mrs. Cook. We have pull-out drawers, again, irrespective of the fact that it is a um, chameleon. We still have metal side of drawer runners, polycomp construction, so not a bit of timber in this construction material just here. We've got a heap of cupboards in here as well with all of our plumbing. The best thing about the chameleon is all the wiring runs internal. And for someone who is not caravan sort of savvy, it might not mean that much, but, but to someone like me who loves 12 volt and mucking around with 12 volt, it's so easy to add aftermarket products as they come into future assembly. You need an extra Sirocco fan, there's 12 volt running everywhere. You need an extra light, there's 12 volt running everywhere. Um, you wanna just put some strip lighting so you look like you're living in a, a 2020 house, strip lighting everywhere. You can do whatever you like. There's a heap of ability within these vans to be able to capture anything you want to make of your own. It is a shape shifter and a half, this one. So we've got down lights. We've got a scupper pressure vent. So as you're driving into headwinds, that's going to suck air in. It's going to pressurize the whole van. I've taken the liberty of mounting this, but that there is a um, wireless remote for all of your lighting system. So we just fire the van on and off with all of the lighting. So this is a wireless system. Uh, very, very easy to use. And I've just mounted it by the door so that way you can have a bit of a play. Now, I'm going to take my shoes off because, of course, someone's caravan. I don't want to dirty their shower floor with my grubby feet. But what we've got is we've got our shower cubicle like so. Again, fully adjustable shower head like so. Um, it's actually quite high for someone as short as me. Um, you've got fan, of course. Takes it in and out. It's an extraction and input, so it'll take air in. It'll put air in. It's also got a watermark... Uh, 
removable shower head. We also have flick mixer tap. We have a shower carry bag that comes complimentary with every single carry van that we build. You've got a shower curtain to block out the toilet area. We've got our toilet like so with chemicals to suit. We've got our open and close for that toilet. So that's your flush button just there. This is a fully sealed unit. So this here, even though you've got an overhead cupboard, you can still get a heap of room in there as well. So heap of storage, shampoos, conditioners, all that in this one unit, fully water tight. It is absolutely fantastic. In a 12 foot caravan for the price, these things are absolutely phenomenal. Um, definitely on the hit list for me personally for when I get off on the road and start caravanning and start seeing a few more bits and pieces before I have to steal the old man's. Guys, the chameleons are selling like hotcakes. We cannot tell you enough. Give us a call if you'd like to be able to come in and see a chameleon um, on the road or alternatively if you want to be able to do a bit of mucking around and see what sort of options we can do for you. There's, um, there's a heap of stuff that we can, can work with. They're a compatible tow vehicle. Uh, and caravan for a lot of tow vehicles out there, especially if you're not wanting to upgrade your whole rig to be able to get the caravan you're after. These will get you anywhere. I've seen them on the reddest of dirts. I've seen them on corrugation. I've seen them on everything. These things here, fully off-road units, these pack an absolute punch. We can offer a heap of options with them. We're here to listen. We're here to help. Give us a call on 9359-2938. Head to the website for more information, www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au. Alternatively, Mr. and Mrs. Cook, we hope you like it, and we'll see you when we see you. Thank you, guys. Bye.